hello everyone today we will discuss a topic in chemistry that is lewis dot structure that what are the different steps which are needed and which steps to be followed so that a perfect lewis dot structure should be formed so here we will take as n1 this n1 indicate total number of valence electron it indicate total number of valence electron of all the atoms which are present in the molecule then if it is having a negative charge as overall negative charge we have to add or you will say we will use a plus sign for the negative charge if it is minus 1 negative charge then plus 1 electron will be added similarly if there is a presence of positive charge then one electron is subtracted then n2 n2 we will find out that eight multiply with other atoms plus two multiply with hydrogen atoms then we will find n3 n3 we will get by subtracting n1 from n2 this n3 indicate number of bonding or you can say shared electron then after we will find n4 n4 we will get by subtracting n3 from n1 with the help of n4 we get number of non bonding electrons or you can say unshared electrons <coughs> now uh, if we want to find out number of covalent bonds so we can uh, divide n3 by 2 and if you want to find out number of lone pairs then we can divide n4 by 2 so if we follow these steps we can draw a lewis dot structure in a perfect manner now let us find out formal charge that how to find out formal charge so formal charge mathematically is given as formal charge is equal to valence electron this we indicate valence electron minus s upon 2 minus u s indicate shared electron and u indicate unshared electrons so if we have the formula that formal charge is equal to v minus s upon 2 minus u so we indicate valence electron 
S indicate shared electron and U indicate unshared electron. Now let us understand this with the help of example that is about Lewis dot structure and about formal charge. Let us take the example here. Example of carbon monoxide. That is CO molecule. Now let us find out first N1. N1 means the total number of valence electron for all the atoms. So carbon is there and oxygen is there. So carbon will be having 4 valence electron and oxygen will be having 6 valence electron. And we can find that there is no overall charge. So no negative, no positive charge. By chance, if it is having a negative charge, then plus will be the negative number of negative charge will be added. If it is having a positive charge, then the charge number will be subtracted. So here it is uh, a neutral molecule. So no negative, no positive, simply the valence electron that will be 10 electrons. Now let us find out N2. N2 indicate that for other items other than hydrogen, uh, how many electrons are needed to complete this octet? So 8 electrons. And for hydrogen atom, if there is a presence, then it is 2 electrons. So I will say that here carbon is there, it is other atom and oxygen is there it is also other atom <coughs> so 8 is multiplied with other atom so other atoms are 2 so it is a 16 electron 8 means completing the octet 8 electron multiplied with 2 that will be 16 electron now let us find out n3 n3 we will get by subtracting n1 from n2 so it will be uh, 16 electron minus 10 electron it will be 6 electron so this 6 electron indicate that it is a bonding electron n3 indicate the bonding electron or you can say shared electron now let us find out n4 n4 we will get it down by subtracting n3 if we subtract the bonding electron from n1 from n1 we will get the non bonding electron that will be n1 is 10 electron minus 6 electron it will be 4 electron so it is non bonding electron so it is non bonding electron now we have bonding electron we have non bonding electron just place it there say so place the carbon and oxygen now let's see here it is bonding electron or how many six so in between oxygen and carbon atom six electron should be present one two three four five six and uh, non bonding electron uh, are 4 so where it should be present so carbon is having uh, valence electron as 6 so 3 is already there 3 is already uh, present 3 is already present 3 then uh, uh, so 1 2 so 2 more electrons are there 1 2 now what thing is happening here we will find that carbon uh, whether it is completing the octet 3 plus 3 6 7 8 and 3 plus 3 6 7 8 so we will see that it is having a presence of a triple bond between oxygen and carbon and uh, one lone pair is present on carbon and one lone pair is present on oxygen now let us uh, further find out formal charge on uh, carbon formal charge on carbon and also formal charge on oxygen so we have the formula V minus S upon 2 minus U so V is valence electron what is the valence electron of carbon carbon is having a valence electron of 4 4 valence electron are there minus shared electron carbon is sharing how many electrons so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 electron carbon is sharing 6 electron carbon is sharing minus u u means uh, unshared electron so unshared electron is 2 unshared electron is 2 2 electron are unshared so if we just solve it down so 2 into 2 2 3 are 6 so 4 minus 3 minus 2 
that is 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 uh, is equal to minus 1 so carbon will be uh, acquiring a negative charge carbon will be acquiring a negative charge <coughs> similarly formal charge on carbon that will be my V minus S upon 2 minus U V is how many valence electron on uh, oxygen valence electron on oxygen will be 6 electrons minus uh, S S means shared electrons shared electron how many uh, oxygen is sharing 6 electrons upon 2 minus U is unshared electron that is 2 electron that is 2 electron so it will be uh, 6 minus uh, 6 electron minus 3 electron minus 2 electron 6 minus 3 3 minus 2 that will be uh, plus 1 so uh, the formal charge on oxygen is plus 1 so if I uh, show you again uh, the Lewis dot structure so it here 1 2 3 4 5 6 oxygen and here it will be 1 2 here it will be 1 uh, 1 2 this will be acquiring uh, a negative uh, charge this will be acquiring a positive charge <coughs> so this is how uh, we are making a loose dead structure of carbon monoxide we can take uh, one more example here I'm taking uh, COCl2 and uh, here uh, we will be making Lewis dot structure so we can find here first n1 that is total uh, total number of valence electron uh, of all the atoms so here it is uh, carbon carbon means total carbon valence electron is uh, 4 electrons then oxygen that will be 6 electron plus 2 into chlorine chlorine will be having 7 electrons so 7 to the 14 14 plus 6 20 20 plus 4 24 electrons are total number of valence electron then n2 how many electrons uh, that is 8 electrons for the other items and 2 electrons for the hydrogen atom so 8 electrons multiply with how many different atoms are there carbon is there oxygen is there and 2 chlorine means 4 4 other atoms are there 4 other atoms are there so we will say 8 4 to 32 32 electrons will be n2 next uh, we will find out n3 n3 we will get it on by subtracting n1 from n2 that will be uh, 32 electrons minus 24 electron that will be equal to 6 plus 2 8 electrons so that 8 electrons are your bonding electrons your bonding electrons now let us find out n4 n4 we will get it down by subtracting n3 that is the bonding electron from the total uh, valence electron that is n1 so it will be 24 electrons minus 8 electrons so it will be 2 here then 4 6 so total 16 electrons these 16 electrons are your non bonding electrons now let us <coughs> now uh, the framework part we have done now let us uh, arrange the atoms so it is uh, carbon it is carbon 2 chlorine here 1 and 2 then oxygen now let us see 8 electrons are the bonding electrons 8 electrons are the bonding electrons so let us arrange uh, these electrons in some way uh, such way such a way that uh, the possibilities should be uh, getting justified so here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 I have arranged all the bonding electrons now the non bonding electrons this non bonding electrons while filling it up I have to make sure that each atom should be attaining or completing the octet so <coughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 then <coughs> Six plus six twelve. Twelve means four electrons are there. One, two, three, four. So in this way, uh, the possibilities are there. So I can just see that uh, octet is getting complete. Here octet is getting complete, and here also the octet is getting complete. 
now uh, if i show the bonds formation so it will be c uh, single bond chlorine single bond chlorine the non bonding electrons can be shown with the cross uh, symbols and double bond oxygen a non bonding electron as cross symbol so it is a lewis dot structure with uh, reference that is of co cl2 uh, now if i uh, find out the formal charge if i find out the formal charge so we have the formula that formal charge is equal to v valence electron minus s upon 2 minus u s means shared pair of electron u means unshared pair of electrons so if i am trying to find out the formal charge on uh, oxygen then it will be uh, valence electron of oxygen is valence electron of oxygen is uh, 6 Minus s shared per electron means oxygen is sharing how many one two three four four electrons divided by two minus u unshared unshared per electron unshared electrons are one two three four four electrons are unshared so two two is a four so it is uh, minus two minus four six minus four six minus six zero so formal charge on oxygen is zero then uh, if I find out the formal charge on uh, chlorine so you can just see the both the chlorines are same so वो क्लोरीन वन एंड क्लोरीन टू सो वॉट इज द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट इज सेवन वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन माइनस शेयर पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन शेयर मीन्स वन टू इफ आई एम फाइंडिंग फॉर दिस वन टू टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू अपॉन टू माइनस अनशेयर पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट इज अनशेयर इज सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो टू जी टू दैन इट वन माइनस वन माइनस सिक्स माइनस सेवन सेवन वन सेवन जीरो सो जीरो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जीरो इज द फॉर्मल चार्ज ऑन क्लोरिन सो इट विल बी वेरी सिमिलर टू अदर क्लोरिन ऑल्सो नाउ लेट इज फाइंड आउट द फॉर्मल चार्ज ऑन Carbon. Carbon is having four valence electron minus shared pair of electrons. Shared pair of means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight upon eight upon two. Eight upon two minus unshared pair of electrons. So no unshared pair of electrons. Zero. So two is a two, four is a eight. Four minus four is zero. So here formal charge on oxygen, formal charge on chlorine, formal charge on carbon is zero. So no charge is there overall as a whole. so in this way uh, we are dealing with uh, a small topic that is about lewis dot structure and uh, finding the formal charge on each atoms present in the molecule thank you